Good morning, folks. Today we'll quickly update the hurricane. We'll be looking at a curious bit of ionospheric observations with a touch of speculation sprinkled on top. And we've got a few things to mention in space weather. That's where we'll begin. Most of the last 24 hours on our star were quiet. There was an impulsive M-class flare this morning. A few filament pops, nothing major. Remember, NOAA is forecasting minor CME glancing blow impact later today. We'll be watching the solar wind for that event. And while we do have some sunspots, it's the plasma filaments that are likely more interesting right now. One released on the north, as you see here, but we also have several facing Earth on the south with more incoming. The sunspots lack the magnetic complexity for major flares, so eruptive activity at these plasma ropes is the bigger concern. We'll be keeping a close eye on these in the hours ahead. Quick look at Beryl. It's targeting Jamaica and the Cayman Islands next. It has weakened only slightly and is still a titanically dangerous storm. Longer range forecasts have it crossing the Yucatan and then heading either for a second Mexican landfall or possibly one in Texas. Eyes open as it continues through the Caribbean. Top story today is quite curious. The X shapes of ionospheric equatorial ionization anomaly merging events. These had previously only been found during strong geomagnetic storms, but are now being seen with quieter conditions, which was extremely unexpected and not believed to be possible. This is a first announcement and much more information will come as studies dig deeper, but as many of you are likely wondering right now, is the new unexpected appearance timing related to the ongoing magnetic changes on our planet with more vulnerability allowing quieter times to behave like storm conditions. Eager to hear more from the team. We greatly appreciate your support. We'll do this all again tomorrow. Right here, but right now at 6 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.